Lauren, I need to know, Gilmore Girls, you guys left us on such a cliffhanger. Rory pregnant. Amy is going to be free after Maisel. Is there more Gilmore Girls to tell? I never say never because I would not have expected would ha- that we got to do it. And it's just, it's such an important piece of my life, of my work, of my friendships. Like it's, it just means so much to me that I don't know if it's better to keep it going or to leave it where it is. <laughs> um, because people are still rewatching the original. So there's even going to be another generation of people who have expectations. So I don't know, but it means so much to me that people continue to be so devoted and kind about it and to find joy in that. It, it's just, it's, un, I never would have, you know, dreamed to have been a part of something like that and it really really makes me happy and it makes me happier every passing year i just i feel so thankful so i don't know what its future is all of you were invited here because you are the best of the best thank you for you lauren josh the first for you how was it to kind of step into the mighty ducks world i mean did you grow up watching it i did i grew up watching mighty ducks in mine in North Dakota. And, you know, I think part of the reason why I loved it so much is because it was right next door in Minnesota. And I played a lot of hockey growing up, so it, it felt uh, close to me in a lot of ways. Okay. Uh, I never thought that I would get a chance to be a part of the, you know, the, the franchise and and put the, the hockey skates back on after 30 plus years. But I had so much fun on this show. I was not expecting to have nearly as much fun as I did. Aww. Lauren is an absolute dream to work with. I just needed to let you know that I'm going to take you down. I'm sorry, is that trash talk? I think so. Yeah, you're not pretty good at it. I thought it was pretty solid. Lauren, in your opinion, how does Josh kind of shake things up? There's some headbutting in the trailer. Um, <laughs> well, it, he's fantastic. I mean, it's a great dynamic for our characters to be so at odds in the beginning. And I think I'm bringing them to like a warm, loving summer camp where there might be some hockey along with archery and like, you know, bracelets, lanyard bracelets or whatever. And it's just not that at all. And it gives another layer to asking the questions the show asks, which is how hard do you have to work for something, you know, to achieve a dream is it worth it is it fun is it what's important being part of a team or winning or you know like what 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 are we teaching our kids and right. and what do they want out of sports or life really and so it was a really fun i mean they always said this show was going to be more like a movie every year so we're not going back to the same anything it's like every season is sort of like, okay, here we are in this new place. Josh, you mentioned that you used to play hockey. So how are your skating skills at this point? Like, what would you rate yourself? And Lauren, how are yours? Like, who's the better skater? I'm so good. It's embarrassing for Josh. Um, (laughs) Josh was fantastic. He did vomit. I'll let him tell the story. It was it was a much better than I was when I first started. I'll tell you this. It was rough going for the first, you know, several sessions out there. I literally threw up after five minutes on the ice the first time out there because I was trying so hard and I was using muscles that I hadn't used for years. I literally had to leave the ice, hurl in the garbage can, then went back out and <laughs> and, and tried it again. But I just couldn't catch my breath. I don't know if I was just I was using muscles that were just not used to being worked. And I just yeah. couldn't, it was terrible. So it was not pretty at first. Lauren, were you shocked that he was literally on the side throwing up? Like, did you She know wasn't there, thank God. I wasn't there. there. I wasn't okay. there. I've heard a lot about it today, but I wasn't there. <laughs> These kids have something special. Yeah. Some kind of magic. <laughs> Josh, how does being a dad to Axel prepare you for a job like this or a role like this? Well, uh, I truly am very immature. <laughs> I, I, am, I am a kid uh, and, I, and I'm not afraid to admit it. I, I, I have a lot of fun on the set. There's just so much joy and so much out there. It's just so much fun to like race them or 
play games with them out there. We we're just constantly messing around. And that made for a very fun work environment. And, and, you know, as far as me being a father, it did really help me uh, in, in that, although my son is only nine, these kids are several years older. I can understand a lot of what they're going through uh, both on and off the screen. And, and, and it helped me sort of really dig in. I think Disney in general does a great job of is, is, is keeping it real and not, not necessarily, not, it's not always perfect. These kids, it's, it's a difficult thing being a parent and I'm still learning how to do it every day. So um, it's, it's the flaws and all the, the, the mistakes that I think make it interesting. Yeah, absolutely. I am. Um, I need a Joshua Jackson cameo. Is that going to happen? Same, this friend, same. How do we make this happen? Have you guys reached out? Could you slide into the DMs? I'm like hardly even on the media of the social, so I give that. I leave that to Josh. I'd love to have him come join us. Yeah. I mean, if we if we get to do this again, who knows if we do? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm. But if we do, we're going to count on you, Katie. I'm going to try and make it happen too. The three of us. All right. Perfect. (laughs) Um, Congrats on your wedding. It looked so beautiful. You went to the ER hours before. How did the day turn out after that? What was your favorite moment? Yeah, it was a pretty rocky uh, beginning that morning before. I mean, the night before we had a blast. We had a big rehearsal dinner. We had a band. Got in the party bus afterwards. I tried to crowd surf and threw my back out. <laughs> and I, 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 I knew I did. Crowd surf is just not I, a sentence. Yeah. That people I knew say. that I did something because you know when you, you tweak it, I was like, ooh, that's not going to be good. And sure enough, the next morning I could not get out of bed. And when I did, I couldn't stand up. My sister comes in. She's like, oh my God, what are we going to do? I was like, I think I need crutches or a walker or something. I don't know. I got to be able to walk up the aisle. We got, got me walking around, took me to the emergency room, put a shot of Tordal in my ass and some medication. And I was fine the rest of the day. I was able to walk. I was dancing that night at the wedding. Oh, my God. And then the next morning, same thing. I couldn't get out of bed. I'm still nursing it. I got ice right here. Oh, my gosh. That's actually yeah. very funny. But I'm glad it all worked out. Did yeah. you guys write your own vows? I feel like that's my favorite thing to ask. Yeah, we did. 